The Lord said to Mary Magdalene, go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your spirit. We gather today to celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, one of the early Christian followers who knew and was close to Jesus. We ask that we too may embrace the risen Lord and the mercy that he comes to bring. Risen Lord, you offer us forgiveness of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you appeared to Mary Magdalene and sent her forth with your message of good news. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you continue to gather us together as your people to nourish us in word and sacrament. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who, for their sake, died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation, The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, Lord my God. My soul is thirsting Thirsting for for you, you, Lord Lord my God. God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul soul is is thirsting thirsting for you, you, O Lord Lord, my my God. God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My My soul soul is is thirsting thirsting for for you, O Lord my my God. God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of the banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with the exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My My soul soul is is thirsting thirsting for you, you, O Lord Lord, my my God. God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. God. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ, I saw the empty tomb. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, If you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Except for the mother of Jesus, few women are more honored in the Bible than Mary Magdalene. She's mentioned by name 12 times in the four canonical Gospels, more than most of the apostles, and more than any other non-family woman in the Gospels. This indicates that she certainly was an important person in the early church as the Gospels were being written. And yet, there is still confusion today about who she was, or more significantly, who she was not. Let me begin with who she was not. There has been a persistent legend in the church that she was the unnamed sinful woman who anointed the feet of Jesus in the seventh chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. Even Pope Gregory the Great made this mistake. Most scripture scholars today point out that there is no scriptural basis for confusing these two women. Clearly, even though she's gotten a bad reputation, Mary Magdalene is not this public sinner who comes and wipes the feet of Jesus with her hair. Likewise, Mary of Magdala is not the sister of Martha and Lazarus, This is Mary of Bethany. 
and her sister Martha and brother Lazarus appeared to be good friends of Jesus, but she is not Mary Magdalene. So what do we know about Mary Magdalene from the scriptures? Mary Magdalene, that is Mary of Magdala, was the one from whom Jesus cast out seven demons. We read in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verse 2. Uh, this is an indication, at worst, of extreme demonic possession or perhaps a severe illness but it doesn't at all indicate that she was a sinner. Mary Magdalene was one of the many women who were assisting Jesus and his disciples out of their own means. They traveled with the, the men to care for them and provide for them. We know Mary Magdalene was one of those who stood at the cross of Jesus with his mother. And of all the official witnesses that might be chosen for the first awareness of the resurrection, she was to one to whom that privilege was given. And so we read in the Gospels that it was Mary Magdalene who first met the risen Lord, the Lord appeared first of all to her. Today's gospel reading from the 20th chapter of the Gospel of John speaks about how Jesus met Mary Magdalene and sent her forth to bring the message of the good news, the news that Jesus had risen from the dead, to the rest of the disciples and his apostles. Since the very earliest days of the church, Mary Magdalene has been called the apostle to the apostles. It was she who brought the good news to the other apostles who were sent by Jesus to go and preach the good news. Now, we hear in today's gospel that Jesus appears to her and she recognizes Jesus by the sound of his voice, especially when she calls, when he calls her by name. And if you remember earlier in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. They know my voice, and I call them each by name. And so Mary Magdalene is close to the Lord, is known by the Lord, and she recognizes him and immediately refers to him with the affectionate title Rabuni, which means teacher. Now, if you'd like, you can go back to our YouTube page and find the Easter Bible studies that I did. They're still there. And it will go into more depth about this reading and the other Gospels that mention Mary of Magdala associated with Jesus. But what she teaches us is that, yes, it's important to be close to the Lord. She was one of the closest people to Jesus in his lifetime. But being close to the Lord is not enough. Because being one with Jesus means that we also are one with him in his mission. And as the apostle to the apostles, Mary is sent out to share the good news. And we, who have heard the good news of the Lord, are also sent out to be its witnesses. Witnesses of the risen Christ, sharing that good news with others. Whether those in our families, in our workplace, our schools, our neighborhood, our community, we are all sent. That's the meaning of the word apostle. We are all apostles then. We are all sent to share the good news of Christ with others. We now come before the Lord, confidently bringing our needs and the needs of all God's people 
to our God who always hears and answers our prayers. That the church may be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air, and water. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and assist them with needed services and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and our glory, a source. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Deacon Rick Pomfrey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Jesse Gora, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant these prayers, O Lord, and all those that remain in our hearts and give us what we need to serve you faithfully through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray together that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the, the sacrifice of our hands, hands for, the for the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, for our, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Jesus, your Son. And so with all the choirs of heaven, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all who serve and minister to your people, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Mary Magdalene and all the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray together for the coming of the reign of God as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The love of Christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Let us go to live in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.